as I said, it was a very uh, good game, very strong first half by Croydon. They really held their back line together very well and they made it very difficult for Metro Stars to penetrate that back line, even though Metros did dominate in the midfield. Um, Croydon did hold on to them for the first half and uh, they basically went in uh, nil all uh, into the half-time break. So, you know, it was looking at like it was going to be a very competitive match, but uh, it was a very, very different matter when they came out second half. Of course, Brooksy uh, playing his second game for Croydon. Uh, great to see him back in the Super League, uh, scoring on debut, but he wasn't able to do that this uh, week because the guys had him checked uh, left, right and centre. Of course, Karlovic returning, Menekela and Robertson in the back. Uh, second half, the Stars opened up the field. They started to create gaps in the midfield. Lewis Brain getting that, you know, help assisting that first goal for uh, Matriciani. Here we've got Jim Stavridis getting the ball up again for Matriciani, who just put it away. Um, look, Anthony Stam had a great game, um, brilliant guy, absolutely brilliant guy. He's a, for me, he's the informed keeper at the moment, uh, saving Croydon's butt on so many times. I mean, he is absolutely just a sterling job for him. Um, also, I thought that Joe Lagana took a free kick. Uh, I don't know if we've seen that. No, it's coming up shortly. He took a free kick, took a punt trying to go for goal. And, uh, you know, he wasn't too far off because... Uh, Daniel Godley took this high-flying mark and uh, came back down. Here it is, the free kick. Daniel Godley goes up, comes back down very, very hard on his neck. And uh, there's a bit of a worry there for a moment, but the trooper he is, he gets straight back up, does a few back stretches, a few neck twists, and he went on with the match. It was a bit of a scary moment there, because last year we saw Ben Moore come down like that in a Campbelltown match, and he definitely did hurt himself. Um, Metros for the rest of the game just kept peppering the goals. Anthony Stamp putting off some great saves again. Uh, he is hot at the moment and uh, he has had some absolutely ripper games, absolutely brilliant. Uh, and I think um, we also spoke to Mike Barnett and Michael Brooks at the end of the match and uh, they'll be coming up shortly. We'll listen to what they had to say. Oh, as we keep watching, sorry, it's not ready yet. Um, yeah, here we can see Croydon taking a few shots at goal, but really they, by this time they dropped their heads, so uh, uh, really they gave up. There was, Metro Stars was just way too strong for them, so, uh, and missing another couple of shots. Tavridis had a shot as well that he could have got as well. So, uh, as I said, very, very strong Metro Stars team. Um, but Croydon did themselves proud. So, uh, and as I said, Stam is brilliant. He is playing brilliantly at the moment. And uh, if we're going to go to the interviews now and have a look at what Mike Barnett and Brooksy said. Uh, we're talking to Mickey Barnett here, coach of Metro Stars. Uh, Mickey, great 2 0 win. Um, although, I mean, you came out on the tack immediately from the first whistle, but I thought that Croydon did hold you. Their defence was very, very hard to penetrate, but in the second half, you really did open them up. Yes, we uh, we knew that um, you know defensively they would, they would be fairly strong and, and obviously want to sit back and try and get us on the break and uh, we just uh, you know had to be patient as we said and, and at half time you know it, it was still nil nil we had a lots of the ball um, but it took until the second half to really open up and the pleasing thing was we got a couple of goals and. Uh, probably should have had a couple more by the end. Yeah, definitely, if not for the hero heroic efforts of Anthony Stan there in goals for Croydon. Yeah, very good keeper, made some great saves today, and he's obviously in good form, saving a lot of penalties at the moment. Um, but, uh, yeah, he was part of the reason it was only 2-0. Now, talking about close calls, we saw Godley take a high-flying mark, and I, I know that uh, I've heard that Court Power is after him <laughs> to get into the team. But no, look, uh, he did take a high-flying mark and it looked very, very, uh, a, a very bad landing. So how is he now? Yeah, look, he's fine. It didn't look good, did it? No. Uh, dropping from the, the height he was up and for a big man as well, there was a lot of weight coming down on, on his neck. Um, I actually said on the bench, I told the uh, reserve keeper to, to warm up because mm -hmm. I thought he could be in a bit of trouble. But uh, no broken bones and uh, as the boy said, it might have knocked a bit of sense into him. So that's all good. <laughs> well, we saw Ben Moore doing that last year at Campbell town and he actually did have to come off and Dave Miller of all people came on so uh, yeah now um, next week you've got a cup round against Salisbury uh, how are you going to face up to that game? Uh, just like a 
playing any other opposition. You know, we uh, want to win every game. It's a cup round. Anything can happen. You see in the FA Cup, lower teams beat the top teams, and you've got to approach it exactly the same. And uh, because we've got players all trying to make the first 11, we've obviously got competition for places. So the players who are uh, in those positions at the moment need to perform each week, no matter who's applying. Yeah, definitely. Now, of course, the news of Adriano going over, being signed for Perth, he's, he's leaving this week. Uh, I guess bittersweet because he was playing very well for you this season, and uh, and now he's you've, he's got to get up and go, and uh, you've got to fill that spot. Yeah, um, you know, I guess on one hand we lose a, a real quality player to our club and to the league, because um, I'm sure most people like coming to games to watch players like Adriano play. Um, but he's been a, a good player for the last four or five years, not only our club but Adelaide City as well, and uh, he deserves the opportunity. And, and we're very happy that he's going and fulfilling a dream for him, and we hope he does very well over there. We all do, actually. And uh, look, congratulations again on the good win. You've consolidated your place up the top there. We'll have to wait and see what happens Monday night with uh, Adelaide City. Uh, but uh, thanks again for speaking to us and wish you all the best in the next few games. Thanks, Matt. Thanks for your support. Cheers. Now, look, on yourself also, uh, last week I did say that you do love story and, and you, in many areas now, um, local federation, amateur league and also national league. Can I just say that a uh, statistic for you, this is your 436th Federation game and uh, for 233 goals. Absolutely magnificent stuff. Oh, thanks, no, that's, uh, That just means I'm old now, 436 <laughs> games. I didn't realise I'd played that many games. Yeah. But, I mean, I suppose those statistics come around with, uh, with a good age and, and experience. And uh, Look, I, I didn't think I had the passion to play Super League um, up until a few, a few weeks ago when Sheila uh, buzzed me and, and hounded me and, uh, and all of a sudden I find myself back playing in the league. And, Look, I think to be honest, I don't think the league's probably as good as it was a few years ago, but um, maybe that's why I'm still able to play my right old age. Oh, look, very <laughs> humble. Look, uh, can I just say congratulations okay. on, on actually getting back into the Super League. Wish you all the best and hope that you can regroup and uh, get some positive results for the club because there are some great guys. And look, Anthony Stam is just absolutely outstanding. Yeah, it's the semi had a magnificent game today and it's going to be for him. It probably would have been a cricket score, but um, thanks for that, Matt. And uh, all the best with full on football. Thank you. Good work Thank and, uh, you. We'll support you as much as we can. Thank you very much. I appreciate you giving us some time. Thanks Thank a lot. You. No Cheers. Yeah, and it was really great to catch up with Brooksy again. And of course, he was my old co-host when we first started the show in 2006. So great to see uh, him back in with the, into the Super League. So um, good stuff. Now let's have a look at the table after round seven for the Super League. Um, Oh yes, it's starting to divide up a little bit now. We've got Metro Stars on top on 19, uh, Adelaide City on 16, Galaxy hot on their heels on 15, and then uh, three, four points down to Blue Eagles. Then we have Mobbury and Campbelltown sitting in the middle on eight points, White City on seven, Para Hills coming off the bottom of the table to move into eighth place on five points, Raiders not doing too well lately, so they're going to have to pull up their socks to get a few wins. They're on four, and uh, Croydon on three with a couple of injuries, so hopefully we hope that they'll be picking up points in the next few weeks as they uh, uh, journey on and get their players back. Uh, of course, this week, guys, we've got no fixtures for any of the legs because we've got the third round of the FFSA Cup. So let's have a look at round three of the fixtures of the cup and uh, uh, let's get your tips on this one. There is some absolutely magnificent games here uh, this week.